This is a little demo on how to use mobile Lightroom on your phone. So uh, there's an app called Lightroom um, and there's a free version and a paid version. Um, the paid version has a lot more options in it, but I'm just gonna show you three things in the free version that can help you edit your photos. So uh, first of all, when you download it and you sign in um, and you open it, uh, it'll give you an option for your photos. And so let's say I'm going to open up this one. Uh, well, there's a couple different things that I can do. Now, I do apologize. I have the paid version. Um, so if I show you something that I think is in the free version, but is actually in the paid version, again, I apologize. But I'm pretty sure all of this stuff is basic. Um, so... Uh, I'm going to crop the image. So if I click on crop, I can do things like rotate it. And I think actually I will rotate this one because I think it, it looks a little bit nicer when the cup is at the top. And then I think I'm just going to bring in, oh uh, no, that's too much. So I'm cutting off the cup now. But maybe like right there would be good. And when I'm done, I press the check mark in the bottom right hand corner. Now, mostly what we're going to talk about today is actually, if I look at all my tools at the bottom, is my light, my color, and my effects. So when I go into light, I can change the overall exposure, the lightness and darkness. So I can bring it up, I can bring it down, I can put it wherever I want it to be, and I can always go in and change it as well. So I'm going to maybe lighten that up a little bit. Um, but then I can increase the contrast. And that's the difference between your lightest tones and your darkest tones, or if you want more middle gray tones. So I can turn the contrast up, which makes the light lighter and the dark darker, or I can bring the contrast down, which kind of tones down those darkest tones and those lightest tones and leaves those middle gray tones. So actually, I'm just going to bring the contrast up a little bit. Then I can affect just my highlights, my lightest areas. I can make my highlights darker, sorry, lighter, or I can make the lightest areas darker. So when I do this, do you notice the cookies are way too blown out? So I actually want to bring maybe my highlights down so I get some detail in those cookies. Same with my shadows. I can make the darkest areas lighter. So if I look at the plate, the plate's a lot lighter or I can affect just my shadows and make my shadows darker. So are my darker tones darker, right? And if you notice, the cookies are staying the same basically. So I'm just affecting my darkest tones. So I'm not gonna maybe change it that much. Then I have my whites and the blacks. It works kind of like the highlights and the shadows again. And with these, you just wanna play around with them until they look the way you want them to look. So I can have my black areas lighter or my black areas darker. All right. Then this is the fun part. We can go into color. So I'm going to click on color and we have our color temperature there. So a daylight gives you nice, even um, light where your colors look accurate. But when you take pictures indoors at night, it gets kind of too yellow sometimes when you take pictures um in dark and light or shade sometimes it's too blue so if it's too blue we want to add in yellow if it's too yellow we add in blue as you can see i actually took this more in daylight so i don't need to do it that much i might warm it up a little bit and if you need to you can put more magenta or more green but you probably won't need to do that that much you can play around with your vibrance and saturation some, but I'm going to show you a better way where you can do it just for, for specific colors. So if I go up here, do you see where it says mix? It's uh, in the middle of the screen, um, right above where it says custom in the middle, and then it says mix, and then there's a little color wheel. I'm going to click on that, and what that does is I can change my HSL, my hue, saturation, and luminance for specific colors. So if I click on the orange, I can make that orange that's in the center. I can make it a more yellow orange. I can make it a more red orange. So right now, only the orange colors are being affected. I actually want it to be a more kind of reddish orange. I can change just the saturation of orange and it doesn't affect the green or anything else. So I can pull my saturation up and make it super bright 
or I could pull my saturation down. And if I do it all the way, it's going to make whatever's orange into um, black and white. It's going to turn it gray. So I might want to increase that orange a little bit. And my luminance is the light and darkness of that orange color. So I can make that orange a lighter or a darker. And again, all of these you just kind of play around with. So like if I wanted my green in there, it's a very yellowy green, I could say, hey, I actually want those green leaves to be a little bit more bluish green. But then, you know what, they're too saturated, so I'm going to bring down the saturation. Just because they were like, I'd rather have the orange be the pop of color, and I want the green to be there, but I don't want it to be in my face. And you can play around with all of those things, all of those colors there. I'm going to press done when I'm done. So that's light and color. And then the last thing, I think this is in the free one, is on effects, you have things like texture and clarity, uh, dehaze, vignette, you know, play around with these things. Vignette, if you do it to the left, makes the edges darker. If you do it to the right, it makes them light. I'm gonna actually make them a little darker. And then it has things like midpoint, so I can change my vignette if the middle of that circle is more in the center or more at the edge, you can kind of see here. So I'm gonna bring that in a little bit. And feather is how soft, see if it's all the way down, you see that hard edge. It's all the way up, it's like a little bit softer. And the roundness of it. And then what you can do is bring up your highlights. It, what it does is if there's any highlights in those darkened edge areas, it brings it back, but I don't really have any, so I'm just gonna leave it there. So if I decided I was done at this point, because I've done my light, my color, and if I want to do any vignette, uh, what I can do is go up to the top. Anytime you want to go back, like if I don't want the highlights there, I can always like go back and it undoes the change highlight. But you also have one, two, three, three from the um, right is you have the little like kind of upload button. So I'm gonna press that and I can share to, I'm just gonna save it directly to my camera roll cause then I can put it into whatever program I want. Um, but uh, you can sometimes open it up and other things. You can play around with this. Um, you can even export it as a type of file or whatever, but I'm just gonna export it to my camera roll and it'll just put it on my iPhone camera roll. So anyway, that's just a basic kind of usage of uh, Lightroom Mobile. And again, once you sign up on this, you can actually use some of these things as well on uh, in a web browser, even on a Chromebook. But you have to sign up for the Lightroom Mobile first, I think on your phone. Maybe you can do it directly. Um, but if you do it on your phone, it's really nice because then if you do have files on your computer, you can use mobile Lightroom on your computer. If you have any questions, just let me know.